One of the questions which I'm regularly asked is about the low F vent mechanism, which we build on a number of Bakun clarinets. I'm just going to put this one together and show you. So the low F vent mechanism is one that runs from the register key down here all the way along through the lower register down to the very bottom of the lower joint and activates this little key. The purpose of it is to try and deal with one of the design challenges that has been inherent in the Bain clarinet design since it was introduced. The low F is normally very flat and the C, the twelfth above, is normally very sharp. What this key does is it gives us the complete control of each one to tune or voice either of those notes. But for many of you who are working on the instrument, this will at first be unfamiliar. So just a couple of tricks. Number one, when you put it together, just line up the normal bridge key as a starting point. That's something you have to do on every clarinet, so you and your clients are going to be completely comfortable with it. Then when you flip it around, you should notice that the second bridge is basically in alignment. So here is the fundamental trick that you need to know. When you finger a low E, this one down here, this key can actually be open just a little. So you're seeing there's motion. If I put a feeler gauge in, it'll fall out. That's completely fine. It's designed, in fact, to be that way. But when we press on the register key, which is almost two feet away, this key closes, and that one has to close. Really, really important. If you don't, the upper register will be sharp. So the way we do the adjustment at first is we put the instrument together and we set the screws in a neutral position. So here are the screws that you need to set in a neutral position. The first one, which is at the bridge, neutral position simply means where it's not poking out. It's just level with the surface. Then the lower one on this side of the F key, which is the one that's activated by the bridge, needs to be neutral. So if you do that, and in fact, I will set it that way so you can see what we're going to do. One of the things, folks, when you're doing this, please make sure the screwdriver you use really does fit properly the screw head. There should be no reason that someone goes into a repair shop and gets an instrument back where the screw head or the key around it is marked if you're using the right tool. So you want to make sure that the screwdriver is not wider and that it basically fits a slot correctly. So now, if I do this, you can see this key is open. So that would not work correctly. The very simple way that we would repair that, or adjust it in this case, is to turn this screw, which is the one for the vent, down. I always try and use the screw, I visualize a clock. So I start with it at the 12 o'clock uh, position. And then I'll move it by half, so 12 to 6. And then as we get closer and closer, I'll go from 12 to 2 or 12 to 1. So we really fine tune that. So if we try this now and we close it, the F vent is now closed perfectly. And we can test that by simply using our feeler gauge going under. And we will see that this firmly engages the key. Your customers will play with different finger pressure. So I suggest when you can, have them press the key and you check it while they're pressing it. So you simply are holding the gauge and you do this. If it still feels light, it means they're not pressing it fully. So then for that client, you would simply make the screw a little bit tighter. And you can see that the feeler gauge will hold. So some of the people who are not yet familiar with the F vent mechanism, which incidentally is a fantastic development in the clarinet in terms of helping to play in tune with a much more even voice. When they look at the rod, they see this, which is very straight, but then they see this one and it looks like it's bent or crooked. And I've seen a few cases where repair people who are unfamiliar have actually tried to straighten it. The reason for this mechanism is simply so that when our hand is in playing position with that curve, our thumb passes the key as opposed to rests on the key and keeps it from functioning correctly. So if you see a curve in the upper rod, 
it's actually designed that way and cost a significant amount to make the tooling to do it. So please do not straighten it. It is perfect the way it is.